So, helmets today. We're going to talk about helmets, 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 helmets. Particularly, new rider helmets. Meaning, if you're brand new to motorcycling, and you know you're you already know what kind of motorcycle you're going to be riding, so you're not worried about you know, do I need a a sport style helmet, a touring helmet, an ADV helmet, you know, any of that. <clears throat> and let's keep in mind, the crossover is huge. It isn't like you can't ride a sport helmet on a naked bike, on a ADV bike, on a touring bike, you know, and so on. The the limit is usually an ADV helmet on a naked sport bike <laughs> or even a fared sport bike because the uh, peak, the, the sun visor they call it a peak for some reason gets just ripped off I mean it's horrible uh, highway speeds without a windscreen it's, it's a nightmare I would just say if you plan to run a GoPro plan for that What's the shape of the helmet up front? Is the helmet nose heavy as it is? Or is it a pretty lightweight front? Now, other than that, fit. Oh my God, people. When they say the helmet should feel snug, it should be, as uh, Spurge says, you know, Aunt Elda or whatever her name was, pinching your cheeks. No joke. Like, if you can get the helmet on and you don't immediately Feel the need to rip it off because it's too tight it's, it's literally crushing your head you have the right helmet <laughs> in terms of sizing uh, it should be tight your head should sock it into that foam it should not be a slip fit that's what MIPS is for if you want a slip fit get a helmet with slip built into the helmet not into the fit of your head into the helmet Now that seems obvious, but it's easy to ignore because when you put on a helmet that is a hair too loose, it's comfy, particularly when it's brand new. And then you get on the highway and it shimmies and that is not good. So buy a helmet that is about as tight as you can handle when it's new. You know, 10, 15 hours of riding later, 20 hours of riding later, it'll fit properly the foam will compress it will be good and if you don't when that foam compresses when you had it for a little while it will not fit properly uh, in a city owning helmet that's not the end of the world uh, this doesn't really affect your safety a whole lot so in a city helmet where you're gonna be on and off of it a lot and you're not so worried about high wind not a really big deal uh, it can be a comfortable thing but in a highway helmet, a touring helmet, you want a pretty snug fit, uh, more than you might think as a beginner. Yes, I have an entire bag of York Peppermint Patties that I'm bringing to work. I'm that guy. So to continue my rant from this morning about helmets and picking one, I highly suggest going to a good shop and getting fitted. Even if you're not planning to buy, Try on a bunch of different helmets and have somebody who knows what they're doing working with you to get the fit right. Because I think that until you've got a little little experience with it, you're going to wind up with too big a helmet. And you will be unhappy later, but you've spent all that money. I also, and this, this sounds kind of weird because I'm saying you know, you'll be out all that money, suggesting that you buy a cheaper helmet to start with not junk but buy something like this airform or that agv k1 or something you know, along those lines figure out oh hey you know it was really tight but now it's too loose or this is too oval or not oval enough and that doesn't mean much to you until you learn a bit more about helmets but if you already have learned that great uh you'll learn about you know how much space you care about in front of your face uh, are you somebody who gets claustrophobic in your helmet or not you know what kind of venting do you prefer 
these are things that are way easier to learn by having a helmet and going, well, I wish it did this, or I wish it did that, or I didn't even think about that until I was riding. Because I learned a ton about what I liked and disliked in helmets in my first month. And then I bought my Shoei, and then I learned more. And luckily, I still like my Shoei, uh, but you know, I definitely got the wrong size pads. Uh, and luckily, in my case, it's just a matter of changing the pads. It's not a, a shell size difference. But there's a lot of stuff you only learn through experience because it's preference, it's personal choice. And you don't, as a new rider, you may not know what your personal choices are. You just, you, you don't have a frame of reference for it yet. Those are kind of my thoughts about helmets and picking one out and uh, sizing. And I think that pick one out you really like the looks of, but make sure the fit is as good as you can get to start with. It's going to be too tight. When you first get into it, it's going to be too tight. In fact, in most helmets, at least full face ones, it's going to be hard to get on when it's new. It's going to be actively hard to get on. You're going to have to like pull it apart and like just squish your head into it. And then it should feel okay. Snug, too tight, but okay. And that's just how it is. Um, it will feel better while you're riding and it will break in over time. The pads fit to your face and break in a little bit and feel better. Up to you, but I would go with the Snugger Helmet, particularly if you're going to do a highway. If you're only doing it around town, eh, I mean, make sure it fits, but just how tightly it needs to fit, a little more flexible. That is it. Take care, have fun, stay safe, enjoy the ride guys.